Hey guys, I'm back. Can't wait. Um, can do a review. I haven't done a review for a little while. And tonight's soap review is brought to you by the Men's Soap Company. Um, the fellow's name, sh if I got it right, is Schwann. Um, my apologies if I got it wrong. I'm not very good with that. Um, he's the owner of the Men's Soap Company. Um, from what I believe, and the letter I got, it started in about 2013 and he's basically based out of the USA and if I'm honest with you, I'm not a hard soap fan. Um, I, um, how do I put it? They don't lather for me. My water in my area is shocking. If I use a hard soap, I don't really get anywhere. And this is a hard soap. It's Basically, like how do I compare it to mutiny? Um, but a million times better. And that's my first mutiny. I like the mutiny shaving soap. It's not the best in the world, um, but it's still cool. But yeah, this. We'll start with the box. It comes in a nice little box, and it is. It's like eco-friendly packaging. I like, I like the box. I think it's pretty cool. And in the box with the soap, you get five of these. In all fairness, I think that's quite a good idea. Um, they sent me a few and I've got a few to give away and I've given away a few already, you know who you are. Um, but let's get onto the soap. Okay, the scent on it is Himalaya. It's a not a strongly scented soap. Um, it's in bloom in a minute, so just pour some of the blue water off. I do HR as well. To me it's it's an earthy scent, but it's really, really subtle. It's not as strong as I like it to be, but it's there. Um, for those that you see my video, my picture yesterday, this thing lowers like an absolute monster. So I have got the big beast of the badger out today. I haven't used it for a little while. Let's get to work. Been in soap for a little while, but yeah, I used it yesterday, and to be honest with you, it, it kind of blew me away a bit. I didn't expect a hard soap to perform as well as it did. And it did, it performed really, really well. And it just stuck there, look. It's already starting to level. I can't take it out of the bowl now, so it's gonna to have to be Titanic before I move the next one in. And just like, just collecting up around the edges of the brush. It's amazing, I can't believe it. I just Never had a hard soap that lavers as well as this and stays. And as Nolan would say, it's luxurious. And it is thick. And it is, honestly, it just peaks. Look. And, it's, and it does it with ease. Um, honestly, fantastic. Throwing it all over the place. It's honestly, it's just everywhere. It's great. But the scent, as I said, it's. It's nice, it's an earthy, it's quite a manly scent, but it's subtle. It's not to the point where it's going to outmask anything you put on the cologne wise afterwards or aftershave. So it's a big thumbs up for me that does. But as you can see, lava is quite thick, it's nice, it's luxurious. And I think it's about $13 a puck. Okay, English money, nine quid. It is a lot of money. We'll do a head shave as well today. But yeah, it's not a lot of money at all. I used it yesterday and I know what the performance is like and the performance is very, very good. I've got a fantastic post-show feel. But you'll see my shaving, you can judge for yourself. But like I said, he sent me a fair few soaps to send out to people. I've chosen a few. Well, I've chosen most of them, but I've left one soap behind. Because that one soap's going to somebody special. Um, well, it will be. I'm going to put it together like a little kit. So, i.e. DE, razor, some blades, a brush. I'm going to give it to somebody. Who wants to try i.e. DE or wants to try a straight. So I'm going to put together a little kit and that's going to be sent out. It might not be somebody who wrote from the form. It might be somebody I know. I don't know yet. Right, let's get straight on it. I used the mongoose yesterday 
And if I'm honest with you, I only need a quick two pass shave of this. Well, as you can see, look, it, it's thick. It's almighty thick and I, I, honestly, I'm I'm amazed at how hard that can be. Can somebody please send me a bad product to review? Because every product I review, I love. Not just me, I just love everything to do with shaving. So. This is the gold dollar from Nolan. And I love this razor. It's fantastic. Yeah, thought I'd had a hectic 12 days at work. Right, cushion and glide. Um, the slickness is there, it's got plenty of cushion, plenty of glide. It really is top notch, especially for a choke, a soap. That's as cheap as it is. In my opinion, it demands a higher price tag. Um, so we swill off, and then we'll go over to pro show. Right, like I said, I'm not on fucking well messy today, Jesus. It's mega slick. Okay. And it's a nice process feel for me swilling off. Right, ingredients. If we go through the ingredients, you'll understand why I'm, I'm amazed at how slick it is. I can't even find my glasses, so excuse. So it's glycerin based soap with coconut oil, castor oil, Sodium hydroxide, purified water, hybrid safflower seed oil, sorbitol for the moisturiser, shea butter, soy, and the Himalayan fragrance. So it's not a bad ingredient, this for a soy, but it really isn't. But yeah, smashing, absolutely smashing. Right. Load up number two. Look, it's just everywhere. It looked like a Mr. Whippy yesterday on the um, the Amiga. It, honestly, it was it was excellent. So, got to try out a badger. I'm gonna use it for a week. Um, see how I get on. But I'm going to break it up because I need to start using the path around rocks as well. Okay, so loaded up for path number two. The scent, I love the scent. It's just, it's, it's subtle, it's not too strong. It's there, but it's not overpowering everything. Been away for 12 days, I come home to a roast dinner. And what more can you ask for in life? So I like living out of hotels and whatever not, but good roast dinner. That knocks everything out in the world. The shower's decided to leak, I'm not going to toilet. If you can hear it, that is. Perfect. I'm not going to go as close as I would do normally because I shaved yesterday, like I said, with a mongoose and I'll end up with sore skin. Doesn't want close enough to be 
noticeable and then have a decent shave again tomorrow. Perfect. Happy with that. Like I said, look, it just doesn't want to go anywhere. It's nice. I know I can't spoil and then we'll jump onto the head. Right, I'm happy with the results we've got and the soap's doing an excellent job. Okay, let's wax them on the end. Probably might have to load up again. We'll see. I'm using for the head shave. No, it's not the gold dollar. I'm going to use a gold one too. I'm not back at 100% like level yet. To be wanting using the straight on the head. So I'm going to be using the 37C. Okay. People's opinions vary when it comes to a Derby blade. Like mine do. I can't stand them. But I haven't used them for so long. And with my technique probably being a lot better than what it was when I first started. Why not? Um, the ultimate test would go straight against the grain. Okay, the lava clips really nicely. I filmed in the hotel last week. Um, in the process of having a head shave, and the lad comes back to the room, and then they all burst in taking the piss, as, as lads do. So, my hairy back and head shave process. It's <laughs> probably all over Facebook on some bloke's page. Right, first part's done. Let's have a swim off, have a feel. Okay, like I said, the this, I sound like I'm, I'm so biased. Everything that I've used, I love and I do. I really, on, but I found a hard soap that works. A hard shaving soap that works is a myth sometimes. It's like, it's like rocking horse shite, isn't it? It's, it's a myth. Hard soaps generally don't work. Looking at it, I've got one hard soap in my list and I'm going to grab it. And that's this. This is Soapy Bathman. Okay. As a hard soap, the scent on this is great. Okay. It's the only one I can compare it to. And this is no offence to Chris Erskine or anybody. This. Oh, I'm loading up. Lava. This lava's easier. And that's not because I'm trying it. It's, I, I generally, I'll do a comparison. Um, the brush is still damp from Mrs. using it earlier. Soap's still damp because she used this earlier. And if I just lather it, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm doing the same as what I would normally do with that, like I did yesterday. And if I'm honest, it doesn't wield the same results. It's a copious amount building up, but not to this extreme. And I mean, I can spoon it off from inside the bowl. That's the, I'm not, that's, and it's no offense, I love my soapy bathroom products. I really, really do. I think they're fantastic, but lava wise, it's just edges it. I hate compare, like being like compare, comparing things and stuff like that. Because every other like said does their best. I'm throwing love all over the bar. Does their best to. But it does the best for the community. Being an artisan, it's not. And I'm not like taking the mic or. I love soapy bath my product. I find the scent and the lovers are fantastic. But for thickness and slickness both the same, but thickness, sorry, slickness, they're both the same. Scent wise, the soap bath man's stronger than this. But performance wise, this is better. Um, you can see, look, it's, it's just everywhere and it doesn't want to die, it doesn't dry out, it's... Even the, the Derby blade, in this 37C, it's working beautifully. And I mean beautifully. Two parts is done. I'm happy with the results and I'm actually happy with the Derby blade. Come on. That shocked me, Daz. Okay, right, let's have a, just a quick split off. Over oh, cold swill. Okay, so let's give it a let's get the ratings out the way. So I'm not going to compare it to Soapy Bath when it comes to rating, I'm going to rate it as an individual item. Um, so the packaging, it comes in a nice cardboard box in a nice bit of cellophane wrap here, telling you the name of the scent on the soap. So, as it's not tinned and it's a puck form um, and it comes like this, if you haven't got a bowl it's going to be a bit of a bugger to use. So packaging wise it gets a 7. Um, if it comes in a tiny little tin, like the blade grim, that sort of sort, like a nice tin, excuse the dents and dents. Um, or I oh, like the sterling tin, yeah, just something like that. It, it'd go up a bit better, you'd get a nine, but you go in the eco friendly route, it's recyclable, so yeah, it's a seven. Um, scent. It's not strong. I'm going to keep saying it isn't a strong scent, so when you receive your soap, don't expect something to open it and go, boom, it's going to eat you. It's not. There's enough scent there to enjoy the shave, but not to overpower your aftershave or your cologne or your EDT afterwards. I like that idea. So this, that, to me, gets a nine. Performance. So we're going on slickness, we're going on lava, we're going on cushion, and we're going on the glide and the protection it gives you. Okay, it gets a nine and a half, easy. It is, it's, and we've got to look easy now. Look, it's, it's still everywhere and the bowl's still full of it. And I've probably got enough to do another three bloody passes if I wanted to. And that's just what was left in the brush. So, it, it's fantastic, it really is. Right, biggest thing for me, post shave. My skin feels nicely moisturised, nicely firm. It doesn't feel like it's been dried out. 
so it gets an eight and a half to nine. It isn't up there with the likes of the Beaver or the QCV by Katie's or the Vanillet, but it's good. It's very, very good. So yeah, absolutely smashing. So what to finish? Bit of witch hazel. Um, I've got saw lips, so that kind of help as well. But lavender fires, keeping with the American theme. So overall, a cracking shave with a damn fine product. So, the Men's Soap Company. I like this. It's a very, very nice soap. It is one I'm probably going to keep in the rotation until it's gone from the bowl. Um, I am now going to end my video with a thumbs up and say thank you very much for watching. I am Craig from the UK Wet Shaving Society. Be a little bit more professional than normal. Um, and then we'll start my pass around shaves. So I'm going to start working my way through the Beaverwood White Collections at Conto Centre. So I look forward to trying that out and giving you my honest opinions. Please let one of them be bad. That's what I'm asking for. I want a bad soap to review and I haven't had one. I really haven't. I just, I haven't. I can't believe I haven't had something that's absolutely shockingly shite to review and everything I've tried has been fantastic. So, yeah, I'm out. I'll see you on the next one.